Hi, I'm Kelly Roberts. Thanks for joining me today for my Fuse workout. Fuse is just one of five workouts in the Bosu Explode cross training series. Each of these DVDs has a focus of one fitness component, but each element of these fitness components are mixed for a total body workout. The Fuse workout will take your fitness to the next level with balance and fuse strength exercises that emphasize total body control, perfect postural alignment, and dynamic flexibility. Fusing multi-joint exercises with movements in all planes of motion will give you integrated strength that will pay off in how you look, how you feel, and how you perform. Fuse trains you from the inside out with every movement demanding core stability and strength. I'm gonna show you how to shape and tone your whole body with powerful functional movement sequences that progress so you can adapt as you train. Fuse is a mindful program that will not only strengthen your muscles, but allow you to feel an inner connection to your body at a whole new level. That's it, let's get into the workout. Here helping me work out, I have two BOSU team members, Jeremy and Caroline. Let's get straight into this. We're gonna start with a little bit of upper body mobility by taking a big deep breath in, reaching up through your fingertips, stretch up through the rib cage, pull the elbows back, stretching the chest, squeezing between the shoulder blades, now pull forward, round the back, pull back, and then just circle the shoulders and loosen it up. Let's do that one more time. Here we go. Big deep breath in, reaching up, Stretch up through your fingertips, lift, look up. Now open the chest, squeeze between the shoulder blades and pull forward, round the back, tuck the pelvis, drop your chin and pull back and then, oh, just circle your shoulders. That feels good, doesn't it? All right, step back a little bit from your balance trainer. We're gonna start with the creepy crawler. The creepy crawler creeps up on you. It's gonna get you really warm. Here we go. Now step forward, load that leg, sink, lift up tall. Come down to the side, sink and load that leg. Lift up, touch the tip of the toe. Now lunge back, sink down again, and press back. Other side comes up, you load that leg, you press up, you're just finding your center here. Come down, lift up, touch the tip of the toe, lunge back, and now we're gonna drill it a little bit. So we're gonna come up, sink down, lift up tall. Come to the side, load the leg, Lift up, touch the tip of the toe, and then come back down again to the side, and come up, and one more time, sink down, and come up, lunge back, sink, and press back. Here we go, other side. Load that leg, lift up tall, sink down, load the leg, tip of the toe, little kickstand, come down, tip of the toe, and one more time, sink and lift up tall, lunge back. Just find your center here because now we're going to work a little bit more on balance. Come down, lift up. Now, load the leg, lift up, give me a kickstand. Find your center, brace with your core and now lift and balance and come back down, sink. Kickstand, touch, lift and balance. And sink that down. Kickstand, lift and lunge back. Let's try the other side. We get to see which side is better. Uh-oh, and <laughs> come up. <laughs> that, that can be a little bit of a worry. And touch, find your center, lift. And sink down, here we go. All right, and touch, kickstand, lift, and sink down, touch, kickstand, lift, lunge back, and lunge back. All right, now we're gonna really start to heat up the body team, and we're gonna add a little bit of power here. We're gonna go two times through a little bit faster. So we go, and we jump down, and we jump stick, and we down, and we jump stick, and again to the side. Down, and jump stick, one more time. Down, and jump stick, lunge back. Back, and back. Here we go, other side. Hup. Jump stick, side, jump stick. Woo, side, 
jump stick. Lunge back, back, and back. Here we go again. Hup. Jump stick, side. Now, can you land on one leg? Up, down. Really working the legs now, getting warm. And up and back. Woo! Very good, last time. Here it is. Down and jump stick. Now, can you come up on one leg? Million dollar question. And down. <laughs> that was a little fast. And down and up and back and back and shake it out. Ooh, nice work. Okay, I think I'm warm. We're gonna get straight in to the down under. So I'm gonna ask you to flip your balance trainer. Ooh, catch your breath a little bit. Roll out the shoulders, kick out the legs. We're heading down under. This one is really gonna work the core, the upper body, and you'll also get some legs in there too. Stand in a wide stance. Okay, here we go. Squat down. Now sink the hips. Get your hips really low. I want you to get that spine nice and neutral. Brace with the abs. Walk or jump back into a plank. Now just give me some push-ups. Down and up. Get the chest really low. Work at your own time, at your own speed, on the knees, on the toes, however you want to do it. Give me one more, hold the plank, lock it in place. Walk or hop into that squat, sink, lift up. Roll the shoulders back and now come down and suspend your balance trainer. Now brace with your core, lock your abs in place, row the balance trainer up to your chest, squeeze between the shoulder blades, open the chest, back of the neck long and lower it down. Now let's just do a few reps like that. Just moving through that range of motion. Squeezing the shoulder blades down and back. Bracing tightly through your abs. Sitting into your heels. Driving the elbows up. One more time. Put it down. Stand up. Push-ups. Here we go. Come down. Walk or hop. Find your plank. And then in your own time, just give me a few push-ups. Down and up. Bracing with the core, focusing on stabilizing the spine and hold that plank, boom, right there. Now, walk or jump, squat, lift up tall. Here we go. We're gonna do some circular movements with the down under, suspend. Now, circle around. Yeah, nice big circles. Get a little rotation through the torso. Pull the balance strainer up towards your chest. Circle the body. Brace through your core. One more. And down. Lift up. We're going the other way. Come down. Suspend. Come back around. And I'm not even sure how many we did. We just went for a while here. We're working on rotation. Working on stabilization. Mobility. Stability and put it down, come up. We're putting all that together. All right, team, we're gonna move through it a little faster with no breaks. Here we go, come down, drop back, give me some push-ups, down and up in your own time. Hop forward, squat, suspend, row, drive it up. Squeeze between your shoulder blades, long neck, Put it down, push-ups. Jump back or walk. Sink the body. Keep the torso long. Brace through your core. Jump forward. Squat, suspend, circle. Around, around. Two more, one. There we go. Put it down, jump back. Push-ups. Down and up, down and up. Very good. Jump forward, squat. Back the other way, circle. Yeah. One more. And put it down. Come up straight away, don't take a break. Come down. Jump back. Push-ups down and up. Sink the chest, but keep the 
torso lifted, jump forward. Row, drive it up. Squeeze between the shoulder blades. Long back of the neck, put it down. Walk or jump, push-ups again. All right, working up a good sweat here. Breathing and jump forward. Uh, circle, here we go. Right around, one more. Put it down, here we go. Jump back, push-ups. Can we do just, yeah. Two more, jump, circle, woo. I'm working now, I'm sure you are too. Put it down, and stand up, whoo. Okay, let's move into the twister. Flip your balance trainer. Now for this one, you're gonna either need a two to six pound dumbbell, or a soft weighted fitness ball. So go pick it up now and just place it in front of your balance trainer. We'll be using it in just a moment. Oh, now that's what I call service. <laughs> okay, we're gonna load the movement first with no resistance, then we'll load it. But we wanna learn the basic mechanics. Get it down. If you don't wanna load it, you don't have to. Here we go. Now step up, find your centre, reach down and at the same time reach up and then switch it, reach down and up and step back, recover. So we start off giving you these little recoveries, other hand reaches down and then reaches up and step back. All right, I kind of think we've got that. So if you want to load it, Pick up your dumbbell or weighted fitness ball. Hold it at the chest or just below your chest. Stand tall and think of finding your center. Brace with the core, step up. Now I keep saying that, but that's really important. Now reach down and then other hand reaches down with the ball and you're gonna step back. Recover a moment, come back up. So you get these little recoveries initially, but that's gonna change, right? <laughs> Step back. All right, now, you're gonna reach down and up with the same hand. Down and up. Step back, and again, other side goes first. Down and up. Step back. Now we're gonna try that one again. But this time we're gonna track it with the eyes. You're gonna watch the ball. Here we go. This is significantly more challenging. Look at the ball. Now take your time with this, go slow. And look at the ball and step back. Ooh, that's a little bit harder. Come up. Now track the ball down and track the ball up and step back. All right, here we go. Come up, now track the ball up. Track the ball up and track the ball up. Stay up, hold it here. Give me a little jump stick, ready? Go up, land and decelerate with the body. Do it again, jump up. Now, reach up again, track the ball. Reach up again, track the ball. Hold in the centre. Jump stick, go, boom, right there. And again, jump stick. We're gonna do it two more times, you ready? Here we go. Track the ball up. Track the ball up. Come to the center and jump stick, boom. And jump stick, right there. Decelerating with the legs. Last time, here we go. Legs are really feeling it now. Jump stick, boom, jump stick, step back, you did it. Ooh, <laughs> that one really builds, doesn't it? So that's the twister. Lots of torso rotation on that one. Flip your balance trainer over. We're gonna do the stalk. 
Now the stalk is going to work on a one-legged deadlift pattern. Lots of balance, lots of core stability, and lots of leg strength. You're really going to shape the back of your legs with this one, and you'll feel this tomorrow. Right, gang? <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. My class loved this one. Step forward with one leg. Step the other leg back. Transfer all your weight to the front leg. Now make a connection to your core. Think of linking the hips to the ribs. Brace, slide your shoulder blades down the back, lengthen the neck, hinge forward from the hip, bending, touch the fingertips, and then lift up, keeping the spine perfectly straight. Let's try that one more time just to learn the movement. And now Caroline's gonna do this holding her ball. We are gonna load it by picking up the balance trainer, which is pretty heavy. And it's a long lever, so do whichever variation you feel is best. Touch lightly, pick it up again. Press smoothly overhead. Brace with your core when you get up there. Now we're gonna do the stalk. Here we go, come on. Now as you press it overhead, lift up onto one leg and find your balance there and your center and come back down, touch the tip of the toe to the floor, sit the hips back, lift the tailbone up and lift, really focusing on the back of the leg. Find your center, come up into that stalk stance, press. Come back down. Now we're gonna really overload it with some partial lifts. Touch, come up halfway. Keeping the spine straight, touch, come up halfway. Now do that again. Total postural control, lift it all the way up, press it overhead, come up into that stalk stance, balance. Now bring that toe back down, we're doing that one more time. Come down, touch the balance trainer, come halfway up. Oh, feeling this now, touch, lift halfway up. Touch, come all the way up, press, lift up into stalk stance, Ooh, and come down. Nice job, put it down. Now we get to try the other side. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, now you know what to do. Here we go, make that brace, make that connection. Bend forward at the hip, hinging. Just learn the movement first. Let's touch the fingertips and just reach up. And again, bend forward, lift the tailbone, weights on the front leg, specifically in the front heel. Now let's load it. Here we go. And you can either use the ball or a weight, or you're going to pick up the balance trainer and press. Race through your core, touch down, lift up, press, tall body, tight abs, come down, ready for the stalk, here we go, lift, press, find your center, up, come down, touch the foot to the floor, lift the tailbone up, and come up, pull it in, Press it up, find your center. Here we go, we're gonna load it now. Come down, partials. Coming halfway up, keep the spine long. Keep your weight more towards your heel. And bring it all the way up. Here we go, ooh. Feeling the hamstring there. And come down. One more like that, here we go. Now, lift, halfway up. Touch, halfway up, touch, bring it all the way up, Ooh. press and balance and bring it back down, <laughs> all right, flip it over, the rock and roller, all right gang, now, 
come in front of your balance train, you might need to shift it back to give yourself a little bit more space. You're going to be standing in front of your balance trainer and we are going to do the rock and roller. We're going to work through a flow that is going to get your heart rate up. You're going to sweat on this one, but at the same time, you're really going to work your core. All right. <laughs> Jeremy really likes this one. <laughs> Actually, I really like this one too. Here we go. Squat down low, touch the hips, and rock back. Rock up again. So you're rolling back, and you're rocking back up again. Just using a little momentum here. Come down, rock back, rock up. So, roll back. Next time through, you're gonna shoot one foot out to the front. Here we go, shoot it out and bring it up. Other side, shoot it out and bring it up. Each time you're coming to that tabletop position, shoot it out, arms out to the side, come up tall. And one more like this and come up tall. Now, try both legs if you want. Both legs and come up. Now just move through this with a flowing kind of a movement. Working the legs, increasing the core temperature, bracing through the core. We burn calories doing this. It's a big body movement, large range of motion. Basically your whole body moving in integration. I love that. One more. This time hold it. Boom. Now grip, hold, balance. Hang on to that. Brace, breathe, rock it up. Okay, the scissors. Come, <laughs> Come to this side. All right, the leg that's closest to your balance trainer is back. Other leg is forward and come into an inline stance. Let's just test out our position here. Come down, place the hip and then come back up and again place the hip so it's kind of like a little curtsy lunge with a hip placement down and let's do that one more time and then we're going to move into our balance come down as I lose my balance drop and come back up do it again here we go down shoot the legs come back up and down Shoot the legs, come back up. Nice, and again, down. Shoot the legs, come back up. We're gonna hold it this time, down. Shoot the legs, hold. Now, bring the top leg forward, scissor. Bottom leg forward, scissor. Feet together, hold, come back up. All right, let's try that one more time. Here we go, come down, balance. Now, grip and brace, scissor the leg, forward. Scissor it back, brace center, come up and come in front now. A little bit more rock and roller, a little bit more rock and roller here. Okay, stand in front and we're just gonna start to move through the rock and roller here. Here we go, squat down, drop back, come up and squat down. One more like that, squat down, drop back, come up. One leg shoots out, down, shoot one leg, come up. Other side, down, shoot the leg. Make sure you're bracing, don't let the shoulders drop down below the level of the hips. Keep that connection, bracing through the core. Now both legs, down, both legs. Come up and down, both legs. Come up now, you're gonna hold this one down. Down, stop. Hands on the balance, train a couple of feet into a V-sit. Stretch, one leg up. Hold that, lift the chest. Now, drop down into that tabletop and rock up to standing using mostly one leg. Okay, here we go. Just down and up, shoot both that legs out. Down and up, 
rock and roll, and again, rock and roll. And on this one, hold it down, down, hold, stop. Hands on the balance trainer, deset. Bring the other leg up. I think it was that one, wasn't it? I had to think about that for a second. Drop back into that balance and rock up. Oh, much better on that side. Better try it again, here we go. Come down, shoot the legs out and up. I'm gonna do it one more time each side. Down, shoot out and up. This time you hold, down, shoot, stop. Come up, V-sit. Okay, extend one leg, that's it. Now, drop back to that tabletop position and rock up. There it is, good, I did better that time. Okay, here we go, rock and roll. Down, shoot out, and up. One more like that. Down, shoot out, and up. All right, hold it down there. Stop. V-set, lift the chest, extend that other leg up, and drop back into the T, and rock up to standing. There we go. Okay, we've got scissors on the other side. You're almost there. Here we go. Leg that's closest to the balance trainer is back. I'm just gonna go down, up and up a few times. Get the legs a little bit looser. Get a feel for where we need to put the hip on the balance trainer. And down. And one more like that. And down. Little curtsy lunge. This time we shoot the legs. Shoot it out. And up. Good. Try and line up that lunge. Out. And up. And again. Down. And up. Last one. Down. And up. We're going to hold this one down. We got the scissor. Here we go. Hold. Scissor forward. Scissor back. Stop. And come up. Do it again. Come down. Stop. Scissor forward. Scissor back. Center. Stop. Come up. Whew. We did two, didn't we? Thank goodness for that. Okay. Flip over your balance trainer one more time. Okay. Now you're going to need a dumbbell or a soft weighted fitness ball for this one again. Place it dead center, right on top. The warrior. It's a yoga flow type sequence. You're gonna be working on dynamic flexibility, core strength, and core stability. I like this one. I like them all, what can I say? <laughs> I'm biased. Here we go. All right, wide stance. First time we go unloaded, learn the movement, then we're gonna load it. Come down, place the hands on a balance trainer. Sink the hips, brace the core. Step one leg back, sink down, lift up. Now sink into that lunge, reach up through your fingertips. Feel that fantastic stretch through the front of the hips. Hands back on the balance trainer, squat. Now stay down, reach up, overhead squat. You'll feel your core bracing, hopefully. Come down, lunge the other leg back, sink. Lift smoothly up, sink into that stretch. Reach up through your fingertips, hands back on the balance trainer, and squat. Now stay low, reach up again, overhead squat down and stand up. Now we load it. Come down. Hands on the ball or the dumbbell. Lunge back. Now it comes up diagonally. Both hands reach up. Place the ball back in the center. Squat. This one's a real one. Sink the hips. Lift the upper body. And ball down. Lunge back. Other side. Sink the body, lift up tall, lengthen, 
and down and squat and release stand up. Ooh. All right, now we go one-sided. Come down, both hands, lunge back, lift up with your inside hand, reach, bring it down, squat. Now, reach up and open, look at the ball, put it down, and lunge back. Other hand, again the inside hand, reaches up, bring it down, squat, and now lift it up and out, bring it down, and come up. We're gonna do those two sequences one more time, a little faster, no break. We're gonna flow through this, here we go. Come down, hands on the ball, lunge back, lift up, ball down. Squat low, overhead squat, and down. Lunge back, lift up, and down. And squat low, lift up, put it down, stand up. One hand, here we go, down. Lunge back, inside hand lifts up. Bring it down. Both hands, one hand comes up, load it, look. Put it down, and lunge back. Inside hand lifts up, bring it down. Other hand comes down as you reach up. Stand up one more time. Here we go, both hands down, lunge back, lift up, come down and squat. Lengthen the spine, hand down, lunge back, reach overhead, stretching the front of the body. Sink down, brace with your core, put it down, come up. Last time through, here we go, down, inside hand, lift up, put it down. Both hands open up, put it down, lunge back, other hand, and down. Put it down, reach up, down, lift, you did it. <laughs> Awesome job. All right, put your fitness ball off to the side where you won't stand on it. Flip your balance trainer over the flamingo. All right, this works. Balance, postural stabilization, core stability. Come on top. This is like the moment of truth. There's no faking this, right? Let me see how I do. Every day is different. Some days you're a champion, and other days not so much. All right, we start easy, we build, you choose how you want to do it. All right, Caroline is gonna be showing you the easier way out. I wish I was. <laughs> All right, lift one foot off, touch the floor, with the ball of the foot, come up. And then the other side. Now as you do this, keep the torso really long. Let's do that one more time, just like that. Touch the foot and really keep the torso upright and stable. Very good. Now, you're gonna come down without touching the foot. Or not. Lower slowly. Now drive up through your glutes, boom. And again, come down. Try not to plop down, lift up. I kind of did then, but that was better. And up. All right, now, we're gonna do three on one side. So, lift one foot, come down, come up, give me a side touch. Do that again. Stand or not, come down and up and change sides. Now the hands can be doing whatever they want, winding up the windows, it's all good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Transfer the weight, brace with the core, focus. Here we go. Touch down. Now you've got that kickstand if you want. And down smoothly. 
Do it again. Down and up. And change sides. Now, we're going to really start to perturb the balance with some clicks. This is really challenging. Brace before we move. Focus. Keep an eye line. That can really help. Hands wherever they want to be. Lift up. Touch. Now, come up and either give me a kick stand or come up. Now, kick. Touch down. Come down. Lift up. You can touch down on the way up if you need to, just like I did then. And kick. And one more time. Here we go. Down. And. Whoop. False start. Come up. And kick. And I say, amazing. <laughs> Some days are better than others. Here we go. Maybe it's not my best day. You'll never know, will you? Okay. Here we go. Come down, kneel, now lift up, and balance, and kick, and, oh, this side seems a little more cooperative. Come up, balance, and kick, and down. You get to kind of refocus there, recalibrate the engine, and come up, kick stand if you need to, and kick, and, whoo, nice job on the flamingo game. That's hard. I think that's a big challenge. All right, step back. We now have two really specific core drills, the seesaw and the starfish. You're really going to like these ones. They're kind of a little more laid back, not quite as much balance. Easy to be very successful with these ones. Come down and place your belly right on the center of the ball. Now come up and just have a little stretch there. That feels really good. It's just opening out through the core. We've been working the core a whole lot. So that should feel pretty good. Now, this is a rocking action. You're going to rock the body down and then press up. Let the feet come up just like a seesaw. Let's try it. Press up nice and tall. Guard your face. Lengthen the spine. Now keep going, gang. I want you to add a little power for me. So you're going to take the hands away, drop down, and press. Now notice that Jeremy is really keeping his hands close to the floor. He's catching himself before he face plants. No face planting allowed. Caroline is keeping her hands on the floor the whole time. And they're just harnessing momentum, using the body, rocking forward and down, lifting the heels up. Do it one more time. Great. Now, bring your hands out wide. Jeremy's going to try and do this on his fingertips, but I don't know. The floor might be slippery. You're going to come up into the starfish. Tips of the toes tucked under. Now, if this is too much, Caroline could come down and just rest her belly and brace tightly through the core, or she could come up and just hold. If you need to take a break, come down, but hold it as long as you can. Build the endurance. All right, how are we doing there? Looking a little <laughs> shaky. Come down and let's come back to the seesaw. So down and up, good. And you'll see Caroline is getting a really nice rocking action here. Her feet are coming up nice and high. Her body's staying in a nice arced position. Just a couple more, gang. Arcing up with the feet and up with the upper body. And starfish, here we go. Come out, lift up. And poor Jeremy, I've got him on his fingertips, but he's really doing some good hand strengthening here as well. This is the Navy SEALs version of the starfish. <laughs> he looks like a Navy SEAL, doesn't he? <laughs> awesome job. I could be really mean and just kind of push on him. But I'm not going to because I'm a nice person, right? <laughs> Hold it just for five, four, three, two, and down. Very nice job. You get to stretch now. <laughs> I've been looking forward to this part all day. Come down. Kneel on your balance trainer. Tuck the toes under 
and we're going to do a little cat cow. So you're going to come up like a cat and then lift the tailbone, lift the chin, inhale, exhale, round it up. And inhale to centre, bring your hands a little bit more to the side, walk your feet back and we're going to do a little downward facing dog, a little down doggy. Press the heels to the floor, lift the tailbone up, stretching out through the shoulders, the backs of the legs. Now take one leg and lift it up, I'm going to do the ballerina. Now point the toe, bend the knee right in and rotate the hip and you're going to feel the most amazing stretch in the front of the hip. Now swing that leg through into the pigeon, so you bring that into that comfortable position. That feels really good. Now, you notice Jeremy has his foot a little closer to the floor. There's all different kinds of variations you can do with this. Caroline's got her foot a little further forward. I'm coming somewhere in the middle there. Now, bring the body forward. And lift up. Stretch. And come up, press up through your hands. Put your shin dead center and step the other leg forward into a lunge. Now scoop the pelvis under so you start to feel a stretch right in the front of the hips, in the hip flexors. Pressure forward, squeeze the glute, reach the same hand as the leg you're stretching, reach up through the fingertips, open out through the rib cage and lift as you pressure forward. Now, my favorite stretch. This is so comfortable on the balance trainer. You're gonna come down, pick up the foot. Now, holding onto your laces, lift the chest forward and pull the foot in towards your bottom as you sink into that lunge. Pressing the hip forward, lifting the chest up, pulling the foot in and release the foot. Hands back on the balance trainer. Step back into downward facing dog. Pressing the heels to the floor. Lifting the tailbone up. Pressing the chest towards your shins. Spread the fingertips. Lift the other leg up. Point the toe into the ballerina. Bend the knee. Rotate the hip open. That stretch really active, open it out and swing that leg through into the pigeon, coming forward. All right, now that foot can be in a variety of positions. You can have it a little further forward like Caroline, somewhere in between like mine, or with the foot resting on the floor like Jeremy. Now just lengthen the spine, bring the body forward and soften. up, hands on the dome, come up onto the knee, step forward and sink the pelvis under, rotate, scoop, squeeze the glute, pressure forward till you feel that stretch, reach up through the fingertips, lengthen through the side of the body, separate the ribs away from the hips, reach. So good. Now let's get the quad. This stretch is just not as comfortable on the floor. No mat is ever thick enough to cushion your knee for this stretch I find. I love this in a balance trainer. Now lift the chest up, press the hip forward and draw the foot in slowly, smoothly, opening out through the front of the hip and in the quadricep. Release the foot, step forward, take a seat, and we'll move into the butterfly stretch. Soles of the feet together, hands on the front of the feet, come forward. Oh, bliss. Even though it doesn't feel like you work your inner thighs directly, they work very hard in all that leg work to stabilize and balance out the knees. And we're going to come down, 
slide the hips to the floor and just finish with a chest opener. This is a really good one for the posture. I like to bring my hands behind the head to support the neck and then just drop back, open out. Breathe here for a moment. A couple of deep breaths. Feeling the energy in your body. Feeling the heat. Feeling just how good it is to work out on the balance trainer. And slowly come up, supporting the head and neck. Come take a seat. Wow, awesome job, team. Thank you, Caroline. Thank you, Jeremy. I look forward to seeing you again really soon.